that we employ in layer dance morphs every year, but there's always one thing at the foundation, no matter where we want to take it, no matter what we do, is this idea of physics first. We have a saying, physics first, technique second, style 522nd. This, this physics first way of moving is the most natural human thing possible because we move because of physics. We do not move because of technique. We, ha we need to understand this, and young dancers, you understand, your turnout has literally nothing to do with movement. Nothing. It can't move me. A pointed foot doesn't move me. Arabesque doesn't move me. A contraction doesn't move me, right? Nothing moves me except physics, right? The reason I'm walking is physics. The reason I run is physics. The reason I leap is physics. Now, how I look while I do those things is technique. That's all it is, right? It's all it is. It's decoration. It's beautiful decoration. It's beautiful additions to a base of physics. So the reason why we harp on this is because we want to get people to move with their entire body no matter what they're doing, whether it's the tendu or whether it's the floor roll. We always say a tendu is the same, you use the same body when you do a tendu as you do with a round off back handspring. It's literally the same body. So why would they not be the same thing, right? It's just an expression of something in a certain way, all right? It's not tumbling versus ballet, right? So, this physics first model gets us moving our entire body from head to toe with an uber connectivity that many times, especially with young dancers, is lost when you're focused on technique. It's all about the body part or the what, not the how. And we want to get into the how, right? Again, now, Technique second doesn't mean less important. That's not what we're saying. Technique is very important. It's hugely important. Safety, for one, right? Alignment, get, giving you that prop, that, that way to do things, right, safely. But also, we do want to look a certain way, right? Because it's a great way to express what we're trying to do, right? Whatever it is, right? It's very important to be very specific with your technique. It just doesn't move us. It really doesn't. So. That's what we're going to start with. And in doing that, we get into many of the other things that we, and we employ, the idea of momentum, circularity, three-dimensionality, perpetual motion. We will talk about Newton's first law of physics and Newton's third law of physics and see how they are connected to everything we do in dance. All right? And not in a textbook, heavy, I hate physics way, but in a like, oh, that's right. I do that all the time. All right? So we'll talk about that. All right, so let's uh, start with just following along. We'll get nice and loose. Keep it rolling. And by the way, I just have it, but if you do want more t-shirts, we have a few we have left, so let me know at the end. Start in parallel first. We're gonna really focus on warming up from the inside out, from the center outward, right? Center outward is very key to everything we do, as you know. Here we go. We'll arch down, roll up. Five, six, here we go. Then roll up. Why? 
nine parallel second. Good. Very nice. Turn it out. And stretch to the right. Stretch. Big hug. Keep it moving. Stretch and contract. Double time. Expand. Contract. Expand. Yes. Good. Beautiful. Expand. Contract. Expand. And side. Crawl. Lift. And really put your hands on the floor. Let it drop. Yes. Good. Now wiggle your spine. Wiggle. Stretch. And floor. Round up. Wiggle. Stretch, floor, round up. Now double time, let the spine go. Spine, oblique, contraction, round up. Here we go, spine, oblique, contraction. Again, spine. And. And lift, easy. Stretch parallel. Stretch, again plie, stretch, and again release, and gather, one more time, release, and gather, round up, and lift, keep it moving. Don't think of stopping center, go over center. Yes, beautiful. Side center to the front, round up. Good, and, and contract. Now all the way around, big circle. Good, big circle. And uh, all the way around. Now let the head go easy. Good, don't think of isolating your head, think of carving a circle with the top of your head. Now shoulders, carve a circle around yourself. Other way. Now plie at the torso, carving space. And. And the arms, stretch, stretch, good. And up and over, and grab the leg. time, release, and gather. Round up, shoulders, elbows, arms, and stretch, contract, forward, shoulders, just a drop, swing, and again, and rotate. And big contraction. Chest lift. Drop. Last time. Contract. Forward. Now stay up in the chest lift. Really open up that sternum and turn out.
up and over, long lunge. Up to fourth, lengthen. And turn out second. And up and over, left. And lengthen to fourth. Back to turn out second. And long stretch parallel. One last plie, release. And gather and slowly roll up. Shake it out, shake it out. All right, so we'll do a few exercises here that get us into this physics first way of moving, and then we'll just be in certain techniques. It, it almost doesn't matter, right? It, it really doesn't matter. And only that because each, whatever technique we decide to be in will be great. So in other words, it's not the technique that makes it great, it's the physics that makes it great. And then we will explode with technique everywhere, whatever technique that is. So, we're going to do something we call, uh, uh, this is uh, something we start with a lot, we call this uh, exercise finding your float. All right, And it's a very simple thing, but carries a lot of uh, gravitas to it. So it's under curve to the tondu, under curve to the tondu, under curve to the toss, around the world, rock and roll pelvis, round up repeat. All right, so very simple. We'll give a nice presentation and we'll go one, two, three, two, three, under curve to the toss, around the world, rock and roll pelvis and left. Rise and boom, stretch, fall, around the world, rock and roll pelvis and we round up to the tondu and we splash or plie releve as they say and six, seven, two, three and then left. Under curve to the tondu, under curve to the tondu, under curve to the stretch, all the way around the world, rock and roll, round up to go the other side, then you go here, yeah, you get the idea, stretch, fall, around the world, boom, and splash. All right, they'll do it with you the first two times, follow them, very simple, boom, 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 boom. So uh, technically, under curve to the tondu is what this is, right? and then stretch, fall, around the world, big circle, round up, plie releve. But we call it finding your float. All right, so let's do it. Do it a couple times, and we'll talk about it a little bit, see what we're talking about, why we're doing it, and all that good stuff. All right, here we go. Nice, easy three-quarter time. We'll start with the arms and stretch them up. And here we go. Boom, ba, ba, float. Stretch. Go, broom. Shoom. Ha. Hmm. Ra. Splash. 
two. And to the left, one. Hmm, there you go. Stretch. Good, beautiful. One more time, here we go. And, boom. Stretch, you got it. Easy, let it go. Good. And last time, left. That's it, beautiful, good, good, good. Yes. And we're there. And floating. And good. Okay. Good. All right. Shake it out. Shake it out. Let's talk about this and then we'll do it again. All right. So. It's called finding your float. So what do you think we're talking about? What's floating? By the way, it's something very specific. It's not like uh, an imagery. It's literally something. What, what's floating? The movement. Okay, even more, yes. More specific. Yeah, but that's great. Yes, I love it. Floating movement. L literally on your body, what's, what's floating? What's that? Mm -mm, no. But yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes, go even a little lower. Pelvis, yes, yes. But yes, of course, yes. Yeah, I was trying, that was almost the, the next level. Because this is floating, that's floating, right? The movement's floating, right? So it's all about the floating pelvis. Now this is an interesting thing, especially now we're turned out here, right? We're in this classic thing, right? The idea of a floating pelvis. Why would we want a floating pelvis? Well, we want a floating pelvis because a floating pelvis is a moving pelvis. Not an isolating pelvis, a moving pelvis. And a moving pelvis is a lifted pelvis, right? So lift comes from movement, not position. We'll get into that in a second, all right? We want the pelvis to float, and in this case, technique second, the tendu comes out of that. Now I happen to be turned out, my foot happens to be pointed. But I could have done all this like with a dangling foot, Right, right, or a dangling leg, right, a flat. I could have turned in, I could have, it doesn't matter. This was turned out and beautiful. Now, so how do we obtain that floating pelvis and why do we want to obtain it other than it giving us a lift? Well, what we're trying to do here is tap into momentum. Momentum, right? Things continue floating, right, because they have a little momentum to them. They just keep moving, all right? We want to tap into that. And when, because when you tap into that, you actually become stronger, and we use less muscle is what we're trying to do. Momentum over muscle at all times. Last night in the show, if the dancers were just using their muscles the whole time, they would have died after the first piece, right? Can't. It's all momentum. So I want you to watch this. Let's do it together. All right? I want you to look for the differences in how we do this and what we do, and you'll tell me a few things about who we are as people. <laughs> Colleen and I. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Well, let's do our porter brush. You ready? Go. Oh, you're going to keep going? Darn it. That's right. That's right. Okay. Okay. Good. Now. I will say no one did what I was doing, I'm, I'm just so you know, all right? But tell me the differences. Kylie's living in the moment. Kylie's living in the moment. Whoa! Oh my God. Wow. That's right. You obviously don't know her very well. I was kidding. <laughs> Range of motion. Good, good, good. Uh, what else? Plie, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Good. Now, now tell me also the how, like the what you like how those things are happening. You're right. You're right. But how? What were we doing differently? 
Say that second word. Like fluid. Hmm, fluid. Yeah, yeah, very fluid. I was doing a plie and a tendu, and a plie and a tendu. And then I was doing a, maybe, you might call it, what might you call that? Half-hearted. Yeah, half-hearted for sure, right? <laughs> right? I'm like, oh, I'm going to, whatever, move my, I don't know, right? So, but let me ask you this, and then we'll get into it. Who was moving bigger? Mm-hmm. Colleen, that was very evident, right? Good. Good. Who was using uh, uh, a momentum? Colleen, yes, yes. Who was using more muscle? Yeah, maybe about 200 times more muscle. Who is bigger? Hmm. So this is, this is a huckleberry right now. I'm bigger, right? I've got about 70 pounds on her, right? I'm taller. Even though it looks like she's longer, my legs are longer than hers, right? She was just moving bigger than I was and using 200 times less muscle. So when we do this, right, and this is just a fact. Physics deals with facts, by the way. So when I'm doing this, see that? That is just like doing... Ready? Are you ready for this? Here we go. Here we go. I'm almost there. Now, it is very funny, but it is so serious, it's a major problem. A demi plie underneath yourself is a quadricep exercise. Don't kid yourself. Don't kid yourself. Right? Anybody, any, 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 any uh, uh, personal trainer worth their weight would kill you if you tried to do squats out here. Why do you think that is? Why is this a quadricep exercise? And I don't care how lifted you are, I don't care how many Pilates things you can do, I don't care how many years of ballet, this is a quadricep exercise. Right? Why is this not? Think about it. Where's my weight right now? Where's my weight? Here? Under your shoulders. Yeah, and going down into what? My legs, my feet, down underneath myself. That's why this is the perfect quadricep exercise. It's so perfect. It really is, right? It's like, oh my God, right? You go back a little bit, get this too. You go back on those heels, yeah, right, right? But why is this not? Where's my weight going? What's that? Side to side. Side to side. Or out. Width creates this idea of energy going out, not down. So everyone do these under curves. This is a very, you want to feel like you're going out at all times, all right? So we're going to go like this, ready? Out, and say it. Out, 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 out. Out. That's it. Beautiful. Now, the out is what creates the depth. You don't need to even think down when you go out. You don't need to think it. Watch. Look at this. I'm going to descend in space, right? Right? Not because I can do an awesome plie, right? Right? I'm going to descend in space. Ready? Do you see that? What's making me descend? Width. Width and depth are like best friends. Use your width to create the depth because it gets you out of your quadriceps. Creates musculature that is sinewy, long, flexible, movable, not locked and loaded, all right? Because that's where true physical movement comes from. All right, so we're going to do this again. Remember what I was calling the plie when we were like upside down, stretching? I was saying release. A plie is a release, and a lengthening of the legs is a gathering all about energy, too. It's like plie, I'm sorry, release and gather, release and gather. So you want to think release out and gather through, release out and gather through. And notice that 
the pelvis is constantly moving. That's why it's floating. She's going to release and gather, and then the release, gather, the, the release becomes the gather, the gather becomes the release, right? Like that. And there's no edges to this. Do an edge. <laughs> she can't anymore, thank goodness. <laughs> Woo! Five months in the company, no edges already. I love it. All right? So, edges, edges, edges. Okay? So, let's think out. Now, stretch, right? Stretch. This, as he just do a talk, yeah. Stretch becomes this circle and let that go, and boom. Momentum brought him there. Now, I understand, especially because we are all veterans here of life in uh, different ways. If there's hurtings or injuries, I understand. Do what you got to do. But even at any level, any level, it's all about the releasing of the tense muscles and letting it drop and using momentum to gather, right? Even if it's here, right? Even if I, can, I really can only go here because I have this, that, or the other thing. Who cares? Let it go. It just flows, and then you gather it up. All right, so let's try it again, and let's employ those things of physics into this. Here we go. Think out, not down. Out, not down at all times. Here we go. You're not even concerned about the bottom of that plie. You're passing right through it. Here we go. Out. Out. Gorgeous. Yes. Stretch. Now fall. Yeah. Boom. Shoom. Yes. Don't go down. Out. Don't get stuck. My fall. I got your way. And. Bra. Toss. Left. Last time. Here we go. Out. Good. Beautiful. That's it. Good. Stretch. Good. Yes. Beautiful. Shoom. And boom. That's it. Gorgeous. And you want to keep going. I love it. And finish. Good. Okay. Good. So that's something that's very easy to kind of tap into, but it has everything we need right in that one little thing. We also believe in layer dance in warming up effectively and efficiently. And in my opinion, and uh, uh, it is definitely my opinion, although it is fact, it's, it's also, it's my opinion, <laughs> whatever, that's another discussion, is that it is so inefficient and so ineffective to warm up with isolated body parts. Let me warm up my feet, and then I'm going to go to my knees, and then I'm going to do this, and I'll finally bend because it's time. We just did a plie, a tendu, and a releve, all wrapped into this big circular movement. Now, I was saying class, we would do this, and you keep moving, and, and you got that whole thing. But it was all there, the technique, right? That's it. I, you know, uh, 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 even nowadays in, in life, right? Uh, uh, like in, in activities, in, in sports, we know, right, in physical activity, that you don't want to like, you want to like warm up everything, you want to get the whole body going. It doesn't matter if you're, if you're playing tennis, where you're just using this arm, you're warming up everything, right? It doesn't matter. So, same thing in dance. That's why we want to do that. That was very good. That was very good. One of the things you can do with small kids to get them into this is compare it to a roller coaster. And one of the great things to do is this. Let's show them the up and over we. All right? So this is what we have kids do a lot. And we even did it with the high school kids. So just watch the, um, the whole thing. We, we, we definitely use the out. So I'll say it. Well, you guys do it with me. We go out, out. And then we do this. We go here and we go we. All right? So that idea of saying we up and over here gives you this Lifted sensation. In fact, let's try it. Ready? And out. Say out. Out. Now stretch. Here we go. And wee. Yes. Good. All right. So that is a wonderful way to tap into what that circle is really doing to you. It's lifting you. It's moving you. It's freeing you up. And by the way, you're in more control when you arrive here. 
because control does not come from position. It comes from movement, gives you control, not position. All right. Oh, yes, I got it. All right. We're gonna tell me your name? Say it again. Katie. Katie, great. We're gonna play a little game. Ready? But Katie, you gotta trust me on this one. All right? And I'm gonna ask you to do something. You're gonna do it without even thinking about it. All right? You can apologize later. <laughs> if you want. Okay. I'm gonna go back into my fifth from back in the day. And I'm gonna get there. Right? I'm gonna engage, right? I'm gonna be strong male dancer, John. <laughs> That's right. And I am going to be so in control because this position is where it's at. Look at the lift I have. Look at this. Look at me. Right? Right? All right. All right. Now, run at me as fast as you can and push me. Go. 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 Okay. Okay. Good. 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 All right. All right. Ready? We're going to do that again. Ready? Go. Go. Run at me as fast as you can and push me. Do it again. Push me from here. Oh, I, did, I didn't know you were there, sorry. Yeah, I know, it's your, yeah. So, was it harder to push me over here or here? Well, which one was, was more difficult to move me? This one? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait, wait. Wait, 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 I'm sticking it out, sticking it out. I got no technique right now, right? But here, I was strong male Mr. Dancer, right? Mr. FDMA 2017. <laughs> Finally, my dream comes true. Oh, finally. Thank you. Thank you. What am I trying to prove here? Where was I in more control? When you were moving? Th say it again. Movement? When I was moving. When I was moving. Not when I was in the position, right? Now, here's the humdinger. You know movement gives you control, right? Like, honestly, like when you, like we could take it back to, you always gotta try to relate it. When you are, be, if someone is, is coming, running at you or something is running at you or whatever, right? You don't go, Ugh, right? You, you move out of the way or you try to take the force, right? If anyone has studied martial art, arts, right? You move it, you don't block, you don't do this to stop something, you move it out of the way. You take their momentum, right? Now, same thing in dance, to gain that control that we search for. Movement gives it, we moving, not position, all right? Here it is though, you wanna have that movement and freedom here, right? That's what we're going for. Right? I, I, I really don't want to see this. I don't really enjoy doing this. But it was to prove a point. Can we find this freedom here? Because moving circularly through this shape can give me the control I'm looking for. All right? So that's where we're going. Movement, movement, movement. All right. So let's, let's do full body tendus to get into that idea of control and what it takes. All right? So we call these full body tendus. All right? And remember what the word tendu means. It simply means to stretch. It doesn't mean point your foot, it doesn't mean turn out, it doesn't mean straighten your leg, it doesn't mean any of that. We happen to do that, so the whole class could be on the same page, but the word tandu means stretch. And what is it to stretch? And why would we do it? Oh, by the way, we're gonna happen to be turned out and point our feet in this exercise. <laughs> All right, so full body tandus. Six, seven, so I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I always go through this. So uh, we're gonna stretch out. Ah. Chest lift, I'll go to the side so you can see me. And you're gonna demi plie for your prep with a sternum contraction. And we're gonna just face the side for a second so we can get this because we do it a lot. You're in demi plie, right? Neutral, lifted, everything right, and all I'm doing is going up and over with my contraction. I, uh, don't let this happen, right? Known as a C curve contraction, right? In turnout, especially in first, you should never contracted because obviously you know what happens to the, so you want to go up and over. You can do it. There are techniques that absolutely do it and you learn how to do it. I just don't like it. It's, it's that fine line of like, oh, my knee's falling in. All right. So up and over, engulf the space. Full body tendus, right on quad. One, two, contract three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Now from here, so just front side back from here, dynamic neutral left. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. All right, so the layer dance second, the one that we use is, is a modern dance second, so it's this undercurved arm, right? And you want to feel like they're resting in your back, but extending in a curved fashion out, which by the way, the same as this, right? We're just, I want it like, try it like this. All right, good, good. All right, so um, again, we go five, six, seven, we go one, two, and three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, one, Two, dynamic neutral left, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We go out, we go around the world again. There's your we, say it if you'd like. Under curve right, under curve left. Now we're gonna scoop the rally, scoop the rally, chest lift, go through, and then the whole thing left. Stretch, two and three, four, five, six and seven, eight. One, two, and dynamic neutral right, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You get the idea. Around the world, we big circles out circularity here and sc scoop it and keep it moving. So as we scoop, uh, everything circular connected. Here we go. to play. Um, uh, oh yeah. Here we go. Nice and slow. Nice and languid, right? Flowing like water, right? Going through shapes. Stretching like that. Ready? I think it's eight, right? And. <sighs> now go, momentum, go. Wee! Go out. There you go. And here we go. Now let it go. Momentum. Go. Momentum. Whee! And scoop it. Five, six. Again. Here we go. Out. 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 Out, 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 five, six to the left. Here we go. Out, 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 out. Oh, out, out, sorry. Out, 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 out. And good. Okay, shake it out. <laughs> good. Okay, very nice. I always forget. I, I forget to tell you the, the one word I want you to think of. So you probably didn't hear it, but what was I saying over and over again? It was in. Very good. I like the cut of your jib, Kate. Uh, it was in. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was out. Out. But oh, it was very, oh, wait a minute. I think I made a mistake, though, because I said it all the time. Oh, I said it here, too. Oh, by the way, I said it here, too. And I know I saw some of you. It was like, out. oh, sorry, I'm, I should be out. out. Oh, out? Right? No, no, no. Out. Okay, this makes sense. But what am I talking about, out? What is going out? Say it again. Energy. 
energy, where is it going out? Tell me the direction it's going out in. Everywhere. And when is it going out? There you go, all the time. <laughs> Outward energy everywhere, all the time. So we often think we, because we, we, we go through these obstacles all the time, right? Is that, okay, I'm going out and in, out and in. Mm -mm, you're not going in. All you're doing is changing your shape. It happens to be, because you're in plie, lower in height. I'm rounded because I'm contracted, but my energy is not going in. It's going out. So the idea is that you have an outward display of energy no matter what shape you're in. So, right, in that there. Boom. Now, watch this. The energy goes out as he changes shape. Here. Yes. And then it goes out in another direction. Or how about all the directions but different shape? I refer to dancers. Right, keep doing it, as <laughs> superhuman shapeshifters, right? Because dancers can change their shape and still move and change it quickly and then slowly and then control it. But the only way to do that is, be, is by the outward display of energy at all times in all directions, no matter what you're doing. Out, out, all right? Because what does out give us? What is it doing to me right now? Good. Lift. Good. What else? Yep. Absolutely. One. Uh -huh. Lengthen. Good. What else? Space. Love it. Love it. Good. Okay. Excellent. All those things. Stretch. Power. I love it. I love it. What's that? Balance. Balance. There we go. Oh. That's right. Yeah, this was a tough one. So, what makes you balance? You know, I'm going to answer for you. You can't say core. Core doesn't make you balance. It doesn't. You can't say turnout. It doesn't make you balance. You can't say being on the ball of your foot. No, it doesn't. You can't say first metatarsal, third, fourth, fifth, second. You can't say that. You can't say psoas. You can't say trochanter. You cannot say any of that because none of that makes you balance. One thing and one thing alone makes anything balance in life. And what's that called? Why does a seesaw balance? E equal weight. Equal opposition, equal weight. The only way a seesaw balances is when both people weigh exactly the same. That's it. That bar in the middle, right, which we can relate to your core, the seesaw is not balancing when there's no weight there or the weight is unequal. So that bar doesn't make it balance. It helps it. Makes it better. Makes it better. Doesn't cause balance. Balance is caused simply by equal opposition. That's all it is. We balance in arabesque not because we have a strong leg, because I've seen a lot of people with weak legs balance. Yeah. The height of your releve, nothing to do with your balance. Because I've seen people this far off the ground balance and people that, the, you know what I mean? It's like, wow, so I guess it has something to do with that. It's equal. And you know, equal, equal, right, right? Equal, 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 right? Energy going out in all directions equally at the same time. That's what gives us balance. And if we understand that, and then we add your beautiful core, we add your beautiful technique. We do understand where our trochanter is. We get all that. I know where my femur head is. Yeah, yada, yada, yada. That's all great, but it's second. Balance comes from opposition. So that's why we do this exercise, to find balance. Outward energy and control, and balance gives us control. So we'll do it again. And now I'll do degage this time, just to say, we, you know, for degage, right? And I want you to think of going outward, everywhere, at all times. Everywhere, everywhere, equally. And what equally means, it doesn't, obviously I shift. It doesn't mean like even between your legs at all times. It, it, it equal, I'm equal right now. I'm equal. I'm equal because I'm stretching. All right, so let's find that. That's right.
No. Yeah. And it's all physics, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. And then again, again, because I never want to diminish, because I, I, I sometimes get a little, little, like, you know, stuff from, from really pure technicians. And I'm not saying throw away technique at all. You saw the show, right? There's tons of technique. It's just not how, it's not first. It's added to, and it, it makes it better, right? But it's not first. All right, here we go. Uh, Degage, please. And we'll, and we'll do it now, Degage, just uh, scotch faster. All right? But nothing changes. Outward display of energy, please, gives us control, balance. Control and balance gives us freedom. Here we go. It is 70s time. <laughs> One and two and so we get it almost every night. Well now the moon gets just a little chippy, not too fast. Ready? Five, six, seven, and out, 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 and out. Dynamic neutral. Ha, 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 and ha. Go. Go, go, momentum. Woo! Five, six, seven, and, and out, out. Here we go. Out, beautiful, yes, good. Here we go. And go. Shoot. Good. Again. Five, six, last tie. Here we go. No worry about out here, out, out, out around. And good. Excellent, excellent, very nice. That was very nice. We always say that you never have to think of down and in. We don't even have to think that. Like, we don't even have to worry about that. Down, gravity, done. I don't have to think about down. It happens. In, my skin's keeping me in, right? Done, I'm in. We need to think about out, around. Yeah, that's way. Oh, I also don't have to think about verticality. All right? I don't have to think about it because we're humans. Right? You're vertical because you're a human being. Right? That's it. We're vertical. Ballet did not invent verticality. Dance didn't invent lift. It made it prettier. Sure did. Yep, made it prettier and more handsome. Right? That's all it did. All right? So those things are kind of ingrained into us as humans. But what we need to do is find that constant flow of energy outward because we're, everything's so, right? Think about it. All right? So we need to find it. And that's what's going to give you the freedom that we're looking for in your movement. All right? And that's what's going to make it more uh, effective and efficient. And again, if you have questions about a lot of this too, you know, I don't perform this, I don't dance anymore, and they have very interesting perspectives on how to employ it, right? right? I'm giving you these tools, right? And they all kind of, within their own bodies and their own minds and their own histories, find the ways to, to employ it, and, and, um, and then we get what we want out of it. So if there's any, if you're having any issues on anything in class, this isn't working for me, they might have some insights for you guys. Um, the, uh, uh, let's do, we'll do one more exercise. And I'm giving you uh, all these exercises now in turnout and more technical, right? Whether you're talking ballet or jazz, because 
the, the, we're trying to show you the employment of it in more classically shaped things, all right? Good. Um, let's do uh, the uh, uh, leg swings with the attitude and the soutenu and the passe, okay? This is another one of my favorites that employs, again, classic technical <coughs> expression. So uh, let's find our arms. I, I should have done this first, and I apologize. So this is how we find those arms. We bring the, the hand into the shoulders. We turn out here. Elbows, notice where my elbows are, right? The, everything's kind of uh, uh, um, um, resting in my back. And then I unfold the hands, and there. And what we want in this shape is our hand to be the middle, this is the high point and this is the low point. All right, now the energy is still going outward from your back. And the reason why we do this in Lara dance, right, so you have a little more length and curve, is because uh, with one little switch, I'm in my true ballet second. All right, this is more of a modern second than the one we're employing. Also, because it makes you feel this area right here, right? Do you feel your arms being held from here, right? When you turn, when you go into this shape right here, which is beautiful, I don't care how technically proficient you are, I'll, you can rest on me, here we go. I don't care how technically proficient you are and how much dance you've had, right here, this is a shoulder exercise. You can imagine all you want. You can imagine all you want. Right there, that's activated. Right there. Now, you can feel it by rotating it goes here. Feel that? Yeah. Everyone try that. All right. Just, yeah, just try that. Feel that. Again, I know, I know. We all do it. Like we, okay, arms coming out of the back. I get it. They do. But physiology, human physiology doesn't care about ballet technique. It doesn't. Because <laughs> it's like you can imagine that all you want. This muscle's holding up my arm right now. But by simply moving it here, we get the sensation of this, right? Yes. And, and not as much this. They're all, everything's employed, but if we really want to focus on that, that's, that's why we do it, okay? So, and then we have that sensation, oh, okay, okay, I can feel it there. The other thing with that, too, is if you have your arms slightly in front of you, you will feel your back kind of expand a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you keep your arms uh, directly to the side of you, you might feel the hinge a little bit more in the back. But yeah. if you think about like really pushing that forward slightly, you will feel like just this awesome expansion in your back. Yeah, exactly. Good. Okay, so that's how we get here. <laughs> so we have we swing, right? So uh, leg swing, lengthen, right? One and two, contract attitude. One and two, chest lift attitude. We're going to classic first position with the arms. One and two, chest lift attitude. So it is lengthen leg, right? Turned out beautiful, like cloche, and then contraction <sighs> creates the shape, all right? Chest lift creates the shape change, all right? Boom, we do that four times. And then uh, fifth time, we start the same, one and two. We run a jam toss. We ball change, a spiral. We suit a new travel, sorry, I slipped. We contract in first, and we toss the passe. You could go releve or flat, it's up to you. It's literally the same thing. But if you go releve, you go like this, you toss, and you come back down, and then we open up and turn out like that, and then the whole thing goes left. One and two, contract attitude. One and two, chest lift attitude. One and two, contract attitude. One and two, chest lift attitude. One and two, run a jam, toss. Ball, chain, spiral, soutenu, and boom, and toss. And the, and the arms, to keep the momentum, We'll go here again, going through classic shapes, and then I'm going to swing them and then brush them up the sides. Yeah, so the arms has that feeling. Almost like you're opening up wings, all right? That's the feeling we want, all right? Just mark it once while I get the music.
Okay, here we go. Four times. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, that's right. You do, do whatever, you know, it doesn't matter. Yes, here? I'm here, Colleen. I'm here. Did you say my name? Ron Ajam John Lair. That's right, so cute. Here we go. Here's your tempo. Rakatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatat